Hello guys, as is common in the past like a little bit, I'm doing a one take. I think I'm doing a lot of them lately just because of my six o'clock start. So I've had a pretty good day today, worked at six o'clock. It was a relatively challenging day, but I'm finding I'm actually enjoying... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm really enjoying being challenged at work because I'm quite happy with how my personal life is going. Whoa, I had the door reopened just then quite happy with how my personal life is going you can't see me because I'm backlit but work I could definitely be doing a whole lot better putting in more effort just caring a little bit more having said that on my in my personal life gym is really shit and I think I just need to sign up for the one that's around the corner so that I'll actually go but also these 6 a.m. starts make me really tired so Emily are you doing the dishes I told you I'd do them. Okay. Um. Yeah, the sea sand starts are killing me. I'm gonna put the camera here. Yeah. That wasn't me fighting, by the way. That was the pet. <laughs> now it makes me sound guilty. Um. So yeah. I went for a run after work. Um. I think my pace was eight minutes and thirty-three seconds for a thirty-minute run. Thirty-one minutes, but. 15 minutes of that was walking so my pace when I am able to build up my endurance and distance is actually going to be decent like a bit will knock off but I reckon I reckon I could probably run a 5k tomorrow at a 7.30 pace and considering I haven't been running it in 6 months up until a couple weeks ago that's decent in my eyes especially because I have always been pretty slow at running I finished a book today so it's the third book that I finished this year in my quest to read 70 books. It was a book called Resilience by Eric Greitens, who was a Navy SEAL. Um, essentially, the book is a collection of letters that he sent to one of his um, Navy SEALs mates who was suffering from PTSD. Um, he references a lot of, a lot of philosophy and, and stuff like that. It was a really fantastic read. Um, <clears throat> very inspiring. I enjoyed it a lot. It's one of my favourites actually that I've read in a little bit, besides for Goggins. Goggins is king. Goggins was number one. Well, he's number one. Um, and then now I'm listening to Atomic Habits, which is a book I've heard a lot about. I'm actually in a book club at the moment that that's the first book to read. So, luckily I'm finally getting to it. And I'm reading Maria Sharapova's book still, which is fantastic. <clears throat> so I'm loving it. I'll probably finish both of those. Oh, not by tomorrow, but getting on close to it. So five books in... Well, I'll get it done by the 14th, <clears throat> which is Monday. By the end of Monday, I'll have them both done, and that means I will have read five books in two weeks, which is pretty damn good, and it sees me well on track to my goal. All right, I think that's all I've got to say for today. Um, it's only... I'm getting a call from my mum. It's only six-something, but... Oh, no, sorry, not six something, it's like seven something, but I've been waking up at 4.30 every day for work, so I want to get at least seven hours of sleep tonight. So thanks for watching, hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.